You are welcome to Mount Zion, the city of the living God. The heavenly Jerusalem. So whenever we are gathered here, we are gathered before the Lord. And the Bible says there are innumerable company of angels. So whenever people, maybe the harshest or the counting team are counting, the numerator team is counting the people. They only count the physical. But there are angels of God here. That's so why you may find your need was not mentioned, but the angels of God took care of that. Because God sends his angels to minister to the people. This is the general assembly of God. And the Bible says the blood of sprinkle is being meant in the church. So there are many things that happen whenever you come to church. Obadiah first one, chapter 1 verse 17 Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. So whatever has been holding down any aspect of your life believe God that thing will drop in Jesus name the palm of Zander shall be holiness and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession whatever you might have lost to the enemy it will be restored back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. So be excited. Even as we begin this month, entitled Miraculous is my portion. Because as I've told you, I was waiting on God. And the Lord spoke to me and said, I'm here to visit my people with the signs and wonders. This month expects miracles in a greater dimension in the precious name of Jesus. Can I hear your amen? Can I hear your amen? Amen. Now listen to me, child of God. New birth makes you a supernatural being. That you have received Christ into your life, you may not feel a lot of difference. But listen to me, you are not the old person. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ Jesus, it's a new creation. The heart is gone. Behind everything has become new. You are supernormal. You are extraordinary. Things are not ordained to happen to you in the normal frequency. They are supposed to happen to you in the supernormal way. Look at Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 6. First number nine. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, 
the prince of peace Isaia 9 mstari wa 6 zamani maana kwa ajili yetu mtoto amezaliwa tumepewa mtoto mwanaume na uwezo wa kifalme utakuwa begani mwake naye ataitwa jina lake mshauri wa ajabu Mungu mwenye nguvu na baba wa milele wonderful ataitwa ajabu number 2 kanzela ya pili ni mshauri Three, mighty God. Ya tatu, mungu mku. If you come back, there is a comma after the word wonderful. Kuna koma, bada iyo neno ajabu. That means his name is wonderful. Basi, jina lake ni ajabu. The word wonderful means full of wonders. Neno iyo ajabu ime, Jesus is full of wonders. Yesu amejawa na maajabu. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18. Isaiah 8 18. Behold I and the children whom the Lord had given me are for signs and for wonders in Israel from the Lord of hosts which dwelleth in Mount Zion. The Spirit of Christ speaking through Isaiah. He says, I and the children whom the Lord has given me. They are for signs and wonders. The children the Lord is talking about is you and I. Jesus came to this world as a wonder. He came here as a sign. He came here as a And he says you are a sign and a wonder. Shout with me, I am a sign and a wonder. One more time. I am a sign and a wonder. Shout it powerfully. I am a sign and a wonder. Are you a sign and a wonder? That means whatever is loaded in Christ is in you. So number one thing understand you are born into this world a sign and a wonder. Jesus came into this world as a wonder. In Matthew chapter 8, Matthew 9, verse 27, the Bible says he muffled people. By what he was doing. But the man marveled, saying, What manner of man is this? That even the wind and the sea obey him. So Jesus marveled the world. Yesu alishangaza ulimwengu because he came as a sign and a wonder. Maana alikuja kama ishara na ajabu. He came full of wonders. Alikuja amejawa na maajabu. And in John 17:18 he says, Na Johana 17:18 anasema, As my father has sent me. Na jinsi baba yangu alivyonituma. So I sent you. Vivyo hivyo nami na watu. How was Jesus sent to this Yesu world? Yesu alituma ulimwengu ni kwa njia gani? He came into this world as a wonder. He came into this world as a sign. So you have also been sent as a wonder. Whenever you are doing your things, people should be amazed by the finger of God at work in your life. People should praise God because of what is happening in your life. Shout with me, I am a sign and a wonder. Number two thing, whatever makes Christ Christ is inside you. Amen. Amen. Whatever makes God God is inside you. In John chapter 3, verse 16, Johanna 3, verse the Bible says, For God so loved the world. 
that he gave his only begotten son ya kwamba alimtoa mwanaye wa pekee that whosoever believes in him ya kwamba atakaye muamini may not perish but have everlasting life asiangamie mbali awe na uzima wa milele shout with me i have everlasting life i have everlasting life i have eternal life i have eternal life what is eternal life uzima wa milele ni nini eternal life is the life of god Uzima wa milele ni uhai wa Bwana. In this world we have different kinds of life. Katika ulimwengu tuna maisha aina tofauti. Different categories of life. Na viwango tofauti vya maisha. We have the plant life. Kuna uhai wa mimea. We have animal life. Kuna uhai wa wanyama. We have human life. Kuna uhai wa mwanadamu. And we have God's life. Na kuna uhai wa Mungu. The same way we have demonic life. Vile vile tunavyo uhai wa mapepo. Yes. Asante. When you receive Christ, unapompokea Kristo, you have eternal life. Una uhai wa milele. That is not human life. Ambao sio wa mwanadamu. That is God's life. Ambao ni uhai ama uzima wa Mungu. Say with me, I have eternal life. God's life. God's life. Now this is the truth which you need to get it. It is the knowledge of the truth that sets free. So understand the life inside you now. Is not human life. It is God's life. Don't allow challenges of this world to terrify you. Usiruhusu changamoto za dunia zikatishe maisha yako. You are not you are different you are not normal. Wewe umeumbwa kitofauti sana sio mtu wa kawaida. You are super normal. Wewe ni mtu uliye wa juu zaidi. Yes, Satan is rolling like a lion to look for who to defy. Ni kweli shetani anagruma kama simba akitafuta nani atararua. But if you understand what is inside you. Lakini utakapoelewa kilicho ndani yako. He can never defy you. Hawezi kamwe akararua maisha yako. You have the life that is in Jesus now zima ulio katika Kristo the life that is in the stem is the same life in the branch ugai ulio katika mti ndio ule ulio katika matawi yake and Jesus says i am the true vine yesu akasema mimi ndio mzabibu wa kweli you are the branches na nyinyi ndio matawi so what makes christ Christ. Nachomfanya Kristo kuwa Kristo is what is inside you. Ndicho kilicho ndani yako. What makes a mango tree a mango tree? Nachofanya mti wa mwembe kuwa mti wa mwembe is the same that makes the branch of that tree to be a mango tree. Kile kile kinachofanya matawi ya ule mti kuwa mti wa matawi ya mwembe. You have what makes Christ Christ. Una kile kinachomfanya Kristo kuwa Kristo. Can I hear your amen? Uske amen yako. You need to understand number three. New birth has made you a god. Yes, you are a god. Wewe ni Mungu. New birth has made you a god. Uzaliwa upya kufanya kuwa Mungu. Psalm 82. Zaburi 82. First number 5 to 7. Mstari wa 5 mpaka 7. Allow me to read. Niruhusu nikasome. They know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness all the foundation of the heart are out of course i have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high but you shall die like men and fall like one of the princes arise O oh god and judge the heart for thou shalt inherit all nations awajui wala kufahamu utembea ngizani misingi yote ya inji imetikisika mimi nimesema ndimnyi miungu na wana wa aliye juu nyote pia lakini mtakufa kama mwana, wanadamu mtaanguka kama mmoja wa wakuu e Mungu shima, uh, usimame uliukumu inji maana wenyewe wewe utawarithi mataifa yote Here what the Lord is saying Sikia ile bwana anavyosema. They know not, neither will they understand. Hawajui wala hawafahamu. Now thanks be to God now you know. Hiyo ukamshukuru bwana kwamba sasa wajua. The Bible says ye are gods. Kwamba nyinyi ni miungu. And all of you are the children of the most high. Na nyote ni wana wa aliye juu. When a god brings forth a young one. Wakati mbuzi anapozaa 
you don't ask your mother in the village as you brought forth a cow or a sheep unapopigiwa simu kutoka kijijini kuambiwa mbuzi amezaa hautauliza amezaa ngombe ama amezaa kondoo you know automatically it's a goat utajua tu moja kwa moja ni mbuzi you are born of god wewe umezaliwa na mungu and that's why the bible says whatsoever is born of god ndio maana biblia inasema kwamba yeyote aliyezaliwa na mungu overcome the world ushinda ulimwengu because you have what it takes to overcome maana una kile unachohitaji ukashinda jesus tells nicodemus in chapter 3 of john yesu anamwambia nicodemus yohana 3 you must be born again lazima ukazaliwa tena and begins to wonder how can i get back into my mother's womb anaanza kushangaa itakuwaje nitarudi tena kwa tumbo ya mama and jesus tells him you must be born of water and the spirit yesu akamwambia lazima kazaliwa na maji na roho and he says whatever is born of the flesh is flesh akamwambia chochote kimezaliwa na mwili ni mwili but what that which is born of the spirit is spirit lakini kile kilichozaliwa na roho basi ni roho you are a spirit being wewe ni roho living in a body Unaishi katika mwili. This is not the real you. Huu mwili wako sio ukweli wako. The real you is a spirit. Ukweli wako ni ule roho. When someone has died, wakati mtu amekufa, we don't say so and so is in the mortuary. Atusemi fulani wa fulani yuko mortuary. We say the body of the late. Nasema mwili wa marehemu is in the mortuary. Uko mortuary. Because the late has gone to be with the Lord. Maana marehemu ameenda kuwa na Mungu. So you are real you is not the body. Kwa hivyo ukweli wako sio mwili. The real you is a spirit. Wewe kamili ni roho yako. When you receive Jesus Christ. Unapopokea Yesu Kristo. There is power deposited into your spirit. Kuna nguvu ambazo hutiwa katika roho yako. You see you when we call people for altar call. Napo ita watu altar call wa okofu. You hear we leading them in a very short prayer. Unasikia tukiwaongoza katika hombi la toba dogo. What and does in that person at that time? Kinachoingia kwa maisha ya ule kati ule is great. Ni jambo kuu. There is a deposit of eternal life. Kuna chemichemi za maisha ya milele yanayowekwa ndani yake. What makes God God enters? Kinachomfanya Mungu kuwa Mungu kinaingia ndani yake. In John chapter 4, Johana kifungu cha 4, verse 13 to 14, tarehe wa 13 14. Jesus is speaking to the Samaritan woman. Yesu anazungumza na mama msamaria. And he tells her, na anamwambia, if You would have known me. Lahiti ungalijua. You would have asked of water. Ungenitisha maji. For the water I would give you. Maana maji nitakai ninge ambayo ningekupa. You will never dust again. Hautaona kiu tena. And out of you. Na kutoka ndani yako. There will be a well. Utakuweko na kizima. Springing into everlasting life. Ambayo itakuwa chemichemi ya maji ya uzima. A well. Kutakuwa na kizima. With water springing out. Itakuwa na maji ambayo yatakuwa yatoka pale. John chapter 7. Johanna 7. Verse 37 and 38. In that great day of the feast. Katika ile siku kuu ya chakula. That last day Jesus stood and said. Siku ya mwisho Yesu akainuka na kusema. Whosoever dusted. Yote aliye na kiu. Let him come and drink. Wacha haje na kunywe. And was all believed and drink it. Na atakaye amini na kukunywa. Out of his belly shall flow livers. Toka kinga tumboni mwake kutabubujika mito of living waters. Ya maji ya milele. For rivers to flow. Kwa ajili ya vijito vikabujike toka ndani yako. A pool of water. Lazima kuwe na kizima ya maji. Look at Lake Victoria. Nazama Lake Victoria supposed to be the biggest lake in the world itafaa kuwa ndio ziwa kubwa duniani approximately 64000 square kilometers ni kama ipatao kilometers 64000 touching three nations of the world ikiguza taifa tatu za ulimwengu out of that big mass of water kutokana na kile kilindi kubwa ya maji flows river nile ndio inaingia mto nile all the way to the mediterranean sea mpaka mediterranean sea 
Now if out of you shall flow rivers of living water. Basi kama toka ndani yako kutoka vijito vya maji. It means inside you there is a pool of living water. Basi na maisha ndani yako kuna kizima cha maji ya milele. There is a pool, a lot of water inside you. Kuna maji mengi. For you to allow living waters to to flow as a river. Ili ukaruhusu maji ya uzima yakatoke ndani yako kama kijito. Can I hear hallelujah? Sikia hallelujah. Some shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. At Bethesda, pale Bethesda, according to John chapter 5. Kulingana na Johanna 5. There was a pool of water. Kulikuwa na kizima cha maji. And the sick were brought there. Na wagonjwa walikuwa naletwa pale. Periodically an angel was coming to activate that, those waters. Mara kwa mara malaika alikuwa anakuja na kutibua yale maji. And whoever got in into that pool of water. Na yote aliyeingia kwanza katika kile kizima cha maji. Sickness got healed of that person. Maradhi yake yalipona mara moja. Now inside you there is a pool of living water. Basi ndani yako kuna kizima cha maji ya Which maji. is able to do miracles. Ambaye inaweza tenda miujiza. Which can do wonders. Ambaye inaweza tenda miujiza. But it needs to be activated. Lakini yafaa kuchochewa. How do we activate? Basi tutachochea kwa njia gani? so that eternal life ule uweza na ule uzima ulio ndani yako that ability of god inside you ule uweza wa mungu katika maisha yako to be activated yafaa kuchochewa for wonders to take place in your life ili ikatendeke maishani mwako yes it is a season of miracles ni kweli ni majira yako ya miujiza signs and wonders miujiza na maajabu but we need to know how to be activated lakini tofaa kujua jinsi ya kuchochewa to partake what god has for us kupokea kile bwana alicho How do we activate? Basi tachochea kwa njia gani? How you are child of God? It's like a cup of tea with the sugar inside. Ni kama kikombe cha chai na kina sukari ndani. For you to enjoy the tea, ili kwako ukafurahie ile chai, you stir. Unachukua kijiko na kukoroga. The tea koroga chai there is god's ability inside you unaweza wa mungu ndani yako eternal life is in you uzima wa mungu ndani yako what makes christ christ is in you inachomfanya kristo kuwa kristo kwa ndani yako the living waters are in you maji ya uzima yako ndani yako but they need to be stirred up lakini lazima ikachochewa how do we start them tunachochea yale maji kwa njia gani we start them by the word of god tunachochea kwa neno la mungu someone say the word of god Shout me the word of God. The word of God. Exodus 4:17. Kutoka 4:17. God tells Moses. Mungu anamwambia Musa, "Take this rod, chukua hii fimbo, by which you shall perform miracles before Pharaoh." Ambao utatenda miujiza nayo mbele ya Farao. And Moses left and went to Egypt. Na Musa akatoka na kwenda Misri. With that rod, na ile fimbo He did miracles. Na katenda miujiza. He destroyed witchcraft. Aliharibu uchawi. With that rod he opened the Red Sea. Na ile fimbo alifungua bahari ya Sham. He struck waters they became blood. Alipiga maji kawa damu. So what is that rod? Hiyo fimbo ni nini? That rod signifies Jesus Christ. Hiyo fimbo inaashiria Yesu Kristo. Who is Jesus Christ? Basi Yesu Kristo ni nani? Because that rod signifies Jesus Christ. Maana hiyo fimbo inaashiria Yesu Kristo. Who is Jesus Christ? Basi Yesu Kristo ni nani? Revelation 19, Ufunuo 19, verse number 13. Msari wa 13. And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood. And his name is called the word of God. Naye amevikwa vazi lilo lilo chovwa katika damu na jina lake anaitwa neno la Mungu. Sama say the word of God. So our road for miracles today. Kwa hivyo yetu ya miujiza leo is the word of God. Ndio neno la Mungu. Moses understood the rod he carried. Musa alielewa ile fimbo alikuwa amebeba. You need to understand your rod very well. Lazima nawe ukaelewa fimbo yako vizuri. That rod is the word of God. Hiyo fimbo ni neno la Mungu. When it gets inside you, inapoingia ndani yako, it begins to stir. Inaanza kuchochea. The potential. Ule uweza. The ability. Ule uweza. The power in you. Ile nguvu iliyo ndani yako. Luke chapter 5. Luka 5. After Jesus used the boat of Peter. Baada Yesu kutumia mashua 
ya petro that alimony Remember the, that night Peter has strangled all through. He had caught nothing. And Jesus tells him, launch to the deep. And Peter says, I have tried all night through. I caught nothing. Nothing less at thy word. At the word of God. I will launch the net. The moment he launched the net. He caught a lot. The Bible says his net began to break. He filled two boats with the harvest. And the boats began to sink. How did that miracle come? By the word of God. By the word of God. Every word you receive into your spirit man. And you believe it. You act on it. That word is a potential miracle. It releases a miracle into your life. As a church, we need to know how to receive the word. Understand the word. Amen. Amen. Jesus comes at Cana of Galilee. There was a wedding. And the the mother tells him, Na mama, mama mwambia, they have no wife. I wanna, uh, defy. And Jesus asked the mama, what do I have to do with you, woman? My time is not yet. But Mary tells the people, Lakini Mari, uh, Maria watu, whatever he tells you to do, do it. Fanyeni. Touch your neighbor for me. Jirani. And tell your neighbor whatever Jesus tells you to do. Do it. Fine. Tell your neighbor louder than that. Whatever Jesus tells you to do. Tell the other neighbor. Tell the other neighbor. Whatever Jesus tells you to do. Do that word. It will heal you. It will deliver you. It will restore you. Can I hear your amen? amen. Say understanding. Understanding. So the key thing is not just hearing the word. But understanding the word. Getting the word deep into your spirit. Very fast, in five minutes. Let me give you channels of understanding the word. Number one, you must get born again. You don't teach a child until she is born. Amen. A child is in the mother's womb. And you begin to tell the child. Say B for boy. Asema B for boy. C for cat. A C for cat. No. I was the can. You must be born. Lazima uzaliwe. The moment you receive Jesus Christ into your life. Wakati unapokea Yesu Kristo maishani mwako. You receive the ability to understand scriptures. Unapokea ule uwezo wa kuelewa maandiko. Mark chapter 4 verse 11. Marko 4:11. Jesus speaking to the people. Yesu akiwazungumzia wa disciples. He tells them unto you it is given to know the scriptures. But to them that are without. These things are in parables. Who are those we are calling without? Number one, those who are not born again. If you are not born again, you are revered as without. Who are those without category number two. Those who go back to their format. 
There are people you repent today. In the evening you go back to the same scene. You repent the following day. You go back. The Bible calls such people dogs. Dogs. For without are witches, sorcerers, warmongers, and dogs. Fabrication. Shida kuna wapendo wanaizaidia shetani kufabricate vitu. Wana ukarabati. Tengeneza story. Yani wanatunga vitu. Ambazo aziko. Aziko. Ambia jirana yako situmewe. Situ. Unaona nduku wanapitia mahali. Unafabricatea ye vitu na muwekelea. Unamuaribia njina. Unaaribia ndada njina. Na ni kitu ya uongo Utatokea mbele ya mungu aji Njoo kuna watu wengine shetani ya naweza waongopa kuingia na wao kuzimu Mana wanandanganya kuliko ye mwenyewe Sasa nashangaa ye ndiye mbaba wa uongo Uyu mtu ni taishi ya aji nae Live a holy life Ishi maisha matakatifu Number two we Njia ya pili is the ministry of the Holy Spirit. In prophecy, Isaiah 11, verse 1 to 2, is talking of the seven spirits upon Jesus Christ. The spirit of the Lord, the spirit of Wisdom, the spirit of might, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of the fear of the Lord, the spirit of counsel, the seven spirits upon Jesus. Ro saba mbao ni ro ya hekima, ro ya ufaamu, yo ushauri, ro ya uweza, yo ro ya marifa, na ro ya kumcha mungu, izo ro saba, zilizo juu ya kristo. And first number three. Na msari wa tatu. The Bible says, and he shall make him of quick understanding. Na bile na sema ya kwamba tamfanya awe wa kuelewa kwa haraka. Holy Spirit quickens your mind. Anafanya kili yako kuelewa haraka. So whenever you are reading the Bible. Na pale unapo soma Biblia. Always say Holy Spirit. Nekati zote. Quicken my mind. Ambia Rom takatifu saidia kili yangu. I want to understand the scripture. The Holy Spirit comes to teach you to guide you. John 16, verse 11 to 13. John 14, 26. He shall guide you, he shall teach you. So use the Holy Spirit. Allow him to touch your life. He is the author of scripture. The Bible says scriptures were written. By holy men as they were being moved by the Spirit. Number three. Is ministry of human angels. Amen. Amen. As I'm teaching to you, I'm revealing to you some things which you could not have maybe understood. When you read in the book of Acts, chapter 8, we see a man called Ethiopian eunuch. Mtowashi huyu wa Ethiopia. Mtowashi hiyo jina la pili. Amen. Amen. From Ethiopia. Kutoka kule Ethiopia. Every year he was going to Jerusalem to worship. Hapa alikuwa anaenda Yerusalemu kuabudu. And uh, he is coming from Jerusalem after worship. Na ametoka Yerusalemu baada ya kuabudu. Reading the book of Isaiah 53. Akisoma kitabu cha Isaiah 53. And Philip 
is commanded by the spirit to join him in the chariot. Na Philip anaamshwa na Mungu amuandame katika kasha zake. And Philip asked him. Na Philip akamuliza. Understand thou what thou readest. Je, waelewa unachokisoma? And he said, how can I understand except someone teaches me? Sasa anauliza nitaelewaje pasipo mtu wa kunifunza? And he began to ask Philip. Na akaanza kumuuliza Philip, who are they talking of here? Sasa hapa wanazungumzia nani? Isaiah 53 is talking about Jesus. Isaiah 53 ya mzungumzia Yesu. And the man never knew Jesus. Na kumjua kama Yesu. Jesus had come. Yesu alikuwa amekuja. He stayed here for that 3 years. Amekaa miaka 33. He had gone back to heaven. Na karudi juu mbinguni. And the man doesn't know. Na juu habari zake. He is coming from worship. Ametoka kuabudu. And Philip begins to expound the scripture to him. Philip anaanza kumpanulia antiko. Light dawns to this man. Na mwangaza unamjia huyu mtu. He saw some water and said, "Please." Akaona maji akasema, "Baptize me now." Sasa nibatise. And the man was baptized. Na akabatizwa. Someone say understanding. Now for you to be able to receive from human angels, kwako upate kupokea kwa watu ambao wametumwa na Mungu, you need meekness. Unahitaji unyenyekevu. Look at Philip. Nazama Philip. He was walking. Alikuwa anatembea. The man was a government official. Alikuwa mtu katika serikali. Riding on a chariot. Amepanda katika kasha. Maybe you would have asked Philip who are you? Labda akaemuliza Philip wewe ni nani? You are walking I'm riding. Wewe unatembea na mimi naendesha. Can you see the difference? Awoni utofauti. Let's be on our feet. Tusimame kwa miguu yetu. Say with me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I break every limitation. I break every limitation. I break every barrier. I break every barrier. In my life. In my career, in my career, in my destiny, in my destiny, in my business, in my business, in my marriage, in my marriage, every barrier, every barrier, be destroyed. Be destroyed. Kwanjina la yes, kwanjina la yes. Nina funja, nina funja. Kila aina ya kizuizi, kila aina ya kizuizi. Nina funja, nina funja. Kila pingamizi. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Ninafunja magonjo. Ninafunja nguvu za uchawi. Ninafunja roho za majini. Kwa jina la Yesu. Chochote kimesimama. Katika njia yangu ya kufanikiwa. Ninakifunja. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Funjika. Funjika. Wewe roho chafu. Wewe roho chafu. Achilia maisha yangu. Achilia maisha yangu. Achilia mali yangu. Achilia mali yangu. Achilia kazi yangu. Achilia kazi yangu. Ninakuamrisha. Ninakuamrisha. Kwa jina la Yesu. Kwa jina la Yesu. Loose. Lose my life. Lose my life. Lose my destiny. Lose my destiny. Lose my marriage. Lose my marriage. Lose my ministry. Lose my ministry. Lose my career. Lose my career. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody begin to pray violently. Hanza kuomba kwa makali. Begin to pray wherever you are. Hanza kuomba mahali uliko. Lift up your voice. Unywa sauti yako. And begin to pray. Na wanze kuomba. Makosa gabalaba. By fire. Kwa moto. 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 I break every power of your name. Ya kila nguvu za kisha. Hachilia. 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 Force of darkness. Kuzangiza. Loose. Hachilia. Loose. Hachilia. Loose. Hachilia. Force is of which craft. Hachilia. Loose. Hachilia. Loose. Hachilia. Loose. Hachilia. Loose. 
By fire, by fire, by fire, by fire, I release fire, I release fire, I release fire, 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 familiar spirit. Out, 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 familiar spirit, out, out, you familiar spirit, you familiar spirit, out, 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 familiar spirit, out, out, familiar spirit, out, 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 out. Out, out, ancestral spirit, out, spirit husband, spirit wife, rejection, out, 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 out. Say with me, you familiar spirit, out, ancestral spirit. Out sickness and disease. Out you challenge. You witchcraft. Out you demon. Oppressing my life. Oppressing my business. Out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Every spirit oppressing your life. Out. Out. Out, 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 Mancini, out, Mancini, out, 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 familiar spirit, out, familiar spirit, out, familiar spirit, out, 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 familiar spirit, wherever you are, come out, 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 you cannot hide yourself. In the presence of God, wherever you are, I command you out. Sickness and disease, witchcraft, out, 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 wherever you are, out, wherever you are. Out, out, you barrier, you barrenness, you sickness, you disease, wherever you are, out, 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 wherever you are, out, out, you just a problem. We thank God you have been watching. Are you born again? If you are not born again, 
I want to welcome you to Christ Jesus. Please pray this prayer with me. Say with me, Lord Jesus. I welcome you into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. In the name of Jesus. I am now born again. I am forgiven of my sins. I am a new creation. If you have made that prayer. You are now born again. Congratulations, child of God. Are you in Nairobi? Welcome to GLCC. God's Light Christian, Christian Church. Umoja Inako. Near Jessica Supermarket. Along Moy Drive. God bless you and the Lord increase you. Maybe you are in other towns of Kenya. Locate a Bible teaching church. Go and fellowship. The Lord nourish and increase you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Church, let's wave our viewers in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Continue Amen. waving them. God bless you. Peace Peace God. God. Amen. Thank Amen. you so much. God bless you.